Zero. Hey, my lovelies, as you can see, these are the ingredients that I use for my version of soup jumu. One of the unconventional ingredients is sage, which I use for a sage infused brown butter that went delicious with this soup. I'm going to include all the ingredients as well as the directions in the description box below. I'm going to be honest, I didn't record half of this cooking process because my back was hurting, but go ahead and click that description box because this soup was amazing. Let's see how I'm breaking up my face. <laughs> Tin foil can be used to so much. <sighs> but good morning, you guys. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be cooking soup ujumu, which is Haiti's Independence Freedom Day soup dish whatever we're going to call it today. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of history with Haiti. If you did not know, I am Haitian. So, you feel me? Um, and we officially got our independence January 1st, 1804. And we're going to drink this in celebration of Coupe de Tête No. Um... <laughs> We're going to uh, drink this in celebration of being the first black Western hemispheric nation to win their independence through and through. We also have helped so many other countries in South America um, and all different parts of Latin America gain their independence. That's why they don't like us. If you want to keep it buck, <laughs> that's why they want to keep Hate it down if you want to keep it a buck because we was really about that coupe tête boule guy by any means necessary, you know. <laughs> Got that Turner influence, so it's a lot of history. Um, but we're gonna make it. I am going to do a sort of a mix um, of prep styles. I'm using all the necessary ingredients, but I'm going to prep them differently than your typical soup jumu recipe. Um, and then additionally, meat was, as I'm learning, meat was not a, <laughs> meat was not originally part of the dish, but, in 2022, <laughs> it has definitely, in the minds of most Haitians, become a prominent part of the dish. So you can make it without it, um, but I'm gonna have my mama eat it, and I don't need her to be talking bad about me. So I got a piking goo, basket piking vegan laden. So I'm gonna put it in for her sake. Bye. From Katun de Aculad. Is that how you say it? I applaud. I'm going to be like, I'm going to be like, mommy. Don't check or show my mother this video. Because I don't need her seeing the rest of my videos. <laughs> this was not the star of the show. This particular squash, but this particular squash will do as a replacement. It's supposed to be the calabaza, if I'm pronouncing it, type of squash. But in a squash, is similar in flavor, so... It's allowed. I ain't feel like going to more than one store. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, <laughs> I ain't gonna front. Can you see me? Can you see me well? Hopefully you can. I love a good chef knife. So I have preheated, I am preheating my oven to 400 degrees. The color, was that 
B vitamins and carotene and stuff that's good for you. Okay. And then to save my fingers, because this is a very hard thing, you don't want to cut yourself. Across the top first. Right. Make sure your fingers are out the way. And then you can go from here and you can work your way down. And then you have this. And then I want to prep the other veggies that are going to accompany the squash in the oven, which is my onions and carrots and garlic. We're going to take some olive oil. According to Dr. Sabe, we shouldn't be cooking with olive oil. We should be cooking with some grape seeds, but we got olive oil, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to put some in the pan. All right, not too much. Don't go too crazy. Now I saw this trick for how to bust garlic out easy. Take a knife and you stick it into a clove. That didn't work. Maybe I got too many layers on <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Let me get off some of these layers. We're gonna try it again. This time I got a better knife, a butter knife. And I took off some of these layers. I think I already busted that one up too much. Got a woman to tell you about my. Oh. It didn't work for me. <laughs> Whew. All right, so I went ahead and salted the lightly oiled, so basically kind of like what was left over residually in the pan, the tops of the squash. And then I went ahead and salted it and I'm about to put it in the 400 degree oven for at least an hour or until tender. So, you know, when you do the pokey poke poke, tender enough to scoop with a spoon. So on a separate note, all right, let me turn off Janae. Boy, I got the juice. All right, so. I'm going to do something I never taught. But say went that fat in a million gazillion bajillion years. But we're trying to start off the new year with better habits. You know, introducing great things into the body. Jewel. I am going to take two. I'm going to rinse them. And I'm going to chew them. They're supposed to be full of antioxidants, um, all types of good things. It's supposed to help with breath, it's supposed to help with inflammation. It's supposed to just be one of those. I mean, I feel like everything is God's gift. Um, so. <laughs> I didn't take it. <laughs> I put it in my mouth and took it right back out. Hold on. 
This ain't gonna be that bad. It's not gonna be bad. I can do it. I can do it. It's a very interesting feeling on my tongue. Ugh. Ugh. Mm. I'm not doing that every day. Oh, I'm not doing that every day. I mean, I could. <laughs> I have never. Because, you know, for the first thing you do when you bite into you off is, is it the rice? It has like a numbing situation. But as soon as you bite into you off, you spit it out. Or you stop chewing. Ah. Ah. I stick my teeth. Ugh. You stop chewing. And roll your tongue around to find it. I don't know how to feel about myself. It wasn't. I've had worse things. I've had worse shots of tequila than that. But. I did it. I did it. <laughs> I wonder if I could just throw them back like pills instead of having to chew them. I know like your spit, your saliva is like your first activation of digestion. It's like even if you're drinking a smoothie, you should like not chew it but let some of your saliva kind of mix in. So because I'm trying to get all the benefits. Oh, that's the wind. <laughs> because I'm trying to get all the benefits, I'm trying to let the body do its proper work but it really made my tongue kind of numb why am i looking at it like <laughs> it's gonna teach me something <sighs> all right i mean i've got a bad breath to begin with but we will see uh overall the effects <laughs> So after cooking all day, <laughs> uh, pretty much the soup is done. I need to shower. Let me show y'all. Well, if you want to cook, do you sorry, Abba? Well, I've actually been cooking, finished cooking like an hour ago. I tried it. It is good. In my humble opinion, it keeps a little bit more salt. But since I want other people to try it, my business on YouTube, I got a salad. Like on one hand, I feel like it needs more salt. But on the other hand, I know that ugh, I also know that um, tomorrow it may be even more seasoned once I let it everything combine and marinate together. So we're just going to leave it as is because it's good as is. Um, and like I said, I wouldn't want to have it be too salty tomorrow so yeah i still have some dumplings going that i'm thinking about putting in the soup i'm not sure voila the meat is tender the potatoes are perfectly cooked. Well, the potatoes might be like a little overcooked, but they are melting in the mouth. I just hope that they, they're still holding their shape too, so maybe they're not overcooked. I'd be my own worst critic. I'd be my own worst critic, but.
podcast and it's good. And I'll be even better tomorrow. I'm trying not to make sure I don't bully my face trying to get into the camera. But it'll be even better tomorrow. So I'm separate. I'm going to get on I don't know if I'm going to fill it up, but this will be for my mom. So like I was saying, um, I want at least to keep two servings for myself. And then the rest of it is going to go to family members. Um, or some people who who knows who to get a bowl. Uh by getting a jalousy. But yeah, that is my Haitian soup or jumu that I made hella late, which I don't even know that. I could just be posting this video late. <laughs> but yeah, so that is the Haitian soup or jumu, my version. Um yeah, I miss out on a lot. I ain't gonna even lie to you. This ain't no cooking show. Because it was getting like, my back was hurt, that hurt. And the last focus became the camera. I'll try to see if I can do maybe like a short stint of talking you guys through what I actually did. Even though you're not getting the visualization. But that's neither here nor there. This is. Ha 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 ha.